Welcome to Stonk Insights, your one-stop shop for stock and crypto analysis and discovery. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be showing you today how to add the Ethereum Classic blockchain onto MetaMask. So you can start interacting with the Ethereum Classic blockchain with MetaMask and interacting with the decentralized application indexes that they have on Ethereum Classic blockchain. We're not going to be going into the apps that they have on the Ethereum Classic blockchain in this video. This is a more relaxed video just to show you how to add it on to your MetaMask. And we're going to go over a couple other things as well. So we will have another video where we actually do take a look at some of the apps and some of the exchanges and some of the products we have on the Ethereum Classic blockchain. So we're all aware of what they have going on, okay? I did want to start with this tweet here. And it say, states, when a cryptocurrency has unlimited issuance, it only benefits the issuers. And this is an official tweet from the Ethereum Classic Twitter page. And, you know, I got to agree with that tweet. Let's exchange cryptocurrency with fiat or with U.S. dollars. And that explains what happened in 2020 with the near unlimited printing of dollar bills in the year 2020. OK, you know, with the stimulus and whatnot. I'm not saying that stimulus wasn't needed, but it was overdone and we're starting to feel those effects now here in the United States. But, you know, this does, you know, there are cryptocurrencies out there to have unlimited issuance. And this is this is facts. OK, this is why we hear about all those pump and dumps where the deployer wallet are giving out cryptocurrencies to multiple influencers. And as soon as that cryptocurrency goes live. It just gets dumped onto the market and the coin value just drops and all the influencers followers they get charted on okay so let's just click into this as well just so i can kind of look more to what they were saying here so ethereum classic is programmable digital gold as they say there's 210 million coins total okay so there is a mark there is a cap to how many coins can actually be minted okay it has dap functionalities like you know we we're just talking about and the reason why we're going to be adding ethereum classes on the metamask has scarcity and utility which creates value and it's proof of work okay so these are all great things for ethereum classic you know why i talk about ethereum classic and why we keep on going further and further with our Ethereum Classic videos. So before I continue on, you know, I just want to state that, you know, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing you see in this video is, should be considered financial advice. You know, I'm just some guy who's talking about Ethereum Classic. And if you're following my advice and making investment decisions off of that, you have a high probability to get wrecked. Don't get wrecked. I want to explain that real quick as well. Okay. So if you look at this chart, you know, Ethereum Classic at, at one point in time, it hit, well, it was, I think it hit higher than this, but it, let's say it hit $149. And let's say that I didn't put in those dis disclaimers. I'm telling you to buy, buy, buy Ethereum Classic. Right now, you would want to murder me. <laughs> okay. If I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying, to buy Ethereum Classic without any regards to doing any chart analysis or looking at where the price is at this moment in time, there, you could get wrecked. Okay. Or you could have the perception of getting wrecked, especially if you sell out if you bought in at $149 per coin, okay? Now, I believe that even those individuals that bought in at the all-time highs, I believe over time, they're even going to get saved, okay? We're, we're, I think we're going to shoot past that $149 price level, in my opinion, you know, fairly quickly. But again, that's not financial advice. And I definitely don't want to try to tell you to go in at any price point. Okay. You know, you see my average here, 4580. That's good for me. For someone else that may be overpriced for the coin. And, you know, I respect that. So that's why I'm not giving any financial advice. All right. Plus, nobody's out there paying me. All right. So, yeah, this is a quick look at the portfolio here. So you see, yeah, I got a 4580, you know, like we see in their last video. Haven't moved anything. Uh, we see we are up 15%. So this is a great day, obviously, for the portfolio, and hopefully that kick continues on. Well, now we're just going to look at the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Wow, we're over 11,000 cryptos now. So, okay. The market cap for all cryptos, 1.5 trillion. So we see that goes up. The volume has been incredible. 111 billion 
in volume in the last 24 hours. We see the Bitcoin dominance has went up. It's, it's smart. It's getting it's creeping closer to that 50% mark again. So it's at 47.4%. We see ETH dominance at 17.9%. And yeah, you see that it's looking green out there. It's looking real green. It's looking good. In the last 24 hours and the last seven days, you see the percentage changes. So let's scroll on down here to the number 18 spot where we see Ethereum Classic sitting at 5226 5265 I'm sorry price per coin see the market cap 6.7 billion and we see this volume has really picked up which is great so 3.6 billion dollars in volume and we look you know to the competitors up and down it is is leading the volume charge okay at 3.6 it, it always amazes me how much volume Ethereum Classic has as composed to like a polygon okay Polygon is, is very popular, especially in DeFi land where I play in, you know, Polygon, that whole ecosystem is, is awesome, okay? So to only see $1.5 billion in trading volume, which is great, that's that's a lot, you know? But then you see Ethereum Classic over double that, hey, I, that, that lets me know that I'm in the right coin, okay? So... We are going to get right into it. How to connect MetaMask to Ethereum Classic, okay? So if you don't have MetaMask, if you don't know what MetaMask is, I made a video on it. Hopefully I'll link it somewhere in here. I know I'll have it somewhere in the video just because this is about, you know, MetaMask and Ethereum Classic. But, you know, if you don't have any idea what it is, basically it is a way to connect to these decentralized financial applications, okay? Or any application that's not tied to a central like source okay so that could be a decentralized game like with access infinity or whatnot you know the, the games that's built on that platform that can be decentralized finance like pancake swap bunny swap don't know if you heard things like that that could be you know well those are decentralized applications and decentralized exchanges so like pancake swap you can swap one coin for another on the binance smart chain okay so what we're going to be doing now though is we're going to be adding on the ethereum classic blockchain following these instructions here so i'm going to open up my metamask while obs is really winning today we just did a major edit probably seven to eight minutes no not that long but it's been a while okay so we're back so now we have metamask open what i'm going to do so i don't get kicked out of this whole screen here I'm going to click these three dots over here and then I'm going to click on expanded view just so I can have the expanded view of MetaMask, which is going to make this easier. All right, so we finally made it to the expanded view. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click this down arrow here for the smart chain. So we're right now I'm in my Binance smart chain wallet. OK, I click this arrow here and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says custom RPC and click on that. So that's going to bring up this here where I have to enter in some information and I'm just going to be plugging in the information I see from here. So the first thing I need to do is type in the network name, which is Ethereum Classic. All right. So we're going to see what is the RPC URL all right so sorry we're fumbling with that i'm trying to hurry up because i'm still at work so what we did is we added the network name ethereum classic all right that's simple enough we added the new rpc url www.ethercluster.com slash etc we added the chain id which is 661 currency symbol obviously etc and we added the blocker explorer url so what this is is this is where you can actually check to see the oh i'm missing two forward slashes there so what this is is where you can check to see ethereum classic transactions okay so the block explorer bitcoin has a block explorer theorem has a block explorer pretty much all cryptocurrencies with the exception of monero and zcash i don't believe they have block explorers but they uh or those because those are privacy coins but most cryptocurrencies have block explorers where you can actually see the transactions. So once we enter in all that information and 
we're actually going to double check here because we like you said we don't want to be adding any malicious networks on here and i was kind of rushing through here and this is moving extremely slow with the obs going on in the background it looks good to me let's click save Now I have the Ethereum Classic blockchain added on to my MetaMask. So we're going to exit out of here and then we're going to open up Ethereum Classic blockchain via MetaMask. So it's opening up here. See, obviously we don't have any Ethereum Classic in the wallet yet because we just set it up right now. So that's just what I want to show you guys how to set this up. And, you know, we're going to take a look at some Ethereum Classic decentralized applications here shortly so we can actually see what type of yields we can get you know interacting with the ethereum classic blockchain i think it is important being an investor in ethereum classic to, to know exactly what you can do with the blockchain okay it's it's kind of hard for i'm not saying everyone but for individuals who are investing in ethereum classic and these blockchains without actually knowing what's happening within the blockchain okay investing off a of hype is obviously not the greatest idea so i have looked at some of the applications on theorem classic this was all a part of you know my due diligence when i before i actually invested in ethereum classic so it's going to be great to bring that to you guys so i'm just happy to show you how to do this first then we're going to actually look at some of the decentralized applications i'm not sure i'm going to actually be interacting with them or not but now that i have it connect to my blockchain we can actually connect to the wallets for those decentralized applications so if you guys found any value in this video please please like the video help out the channel push out the message of how to add the ethereum classic blockchain onto your metamask it's very simple very beginner friendly i'll be adding this information into the description below so you can do so by you know going through the description if you wanted to um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do talk about stock and crypto. Well, stock I haven't talked in a while. I've been talking about crypto here lately, and Ethereum Classic is something that's been on a plate for the past few weeks. It'll continue to be on a plate for the following weeks, okay? So thank you guys again, and catch you in the next one.